Do you realize the end of the year is near? The temperature is decreasing, everyone must have adapted to the winter cold. Temporarily ignoring the weather, the last days of the year always keep everyone busy. Businesses are busy summarizing revenue and expenditure, workers are busy racing to get some TET bonuses, and students are busy taking exams. Everyone is enhancing highly to prepare to welcome a new year, a new beginning. But why don't we put off our worries one moment, and look back at the past year, and what we have had. If you had to state your feelings about the past year, what would you say? Talking about the successes and challenges that you have experienced in a year? Talking about plans and destinations that have not been carried out? Or regrets and losses? Do you feel relieved about what you've accomplished, or just sigh when you realize it's the end of the year, but nothing has been achieved? COVID-19 is no longer raging. 2022 is the year of restoring everything, and this must be a hard year for all of us. But that's not why we give up. We have tried very hard until today. In the entire year that has passed, more or less, you have certainly accomplished something. Do list them. Looking back on your successes will help you recognize your dedication and efforts, and that will be the experience for yourself. What about the things that have not been done? Try to figure out why you haven't done it yet. Have you used up all your time and ability? Have I done my best for it? Don't let those backlogs make you regret and blame yourself. People often have a saying, let him who is without sin cast the first stone. Try once to face your flaws and failures, the reasons that hinder your progress and deal with them. We can't let it backlog year after year. Besides work, family and relationships are also things that we should remember. What other relationships have you made? What relationships have been severed? Which relationships benefit you and help you grow? Which relationships keep you negative and hinder your future? Which relationship do you need to keep or let go of? Outside of your family, have you found someone who truly loves you? And last, did you love your parents very much? Life is too short, don't be frugal, and don't hesitate to say words of love to your family. When looking back at the past year, most people think about personal things, hot trends, celebrities, and big events. But I wonder, do any young people see the fluctuations of the world, of the country? Have any young people seen that, the war in the other hemisphere is still protracted, the country's economy is in a difficult situation, thousands of workers are unemployed, and businesses have to close. Has anyone seen that, there are still homeless people out there, who have lost loved ones wandering around? They don't even know, they will live through this day. They don't even have a chance to look back at the past year's achievements. And prepare for the new year. And what have we done for this society? Or are you still busy living for yourself? Do we know how to share, or are we still looking at what we want more? No one is an island. This world would be so good, if it built on the foundation of solidarity, kindness, and love between people. Life is impermanent. No one knows what will happen in advance. Therefore, the moment we live the last days of this year, we learn to recognize happiness. Happiness is when we are healthy. Happiness is when our loved ones are still by our side. We also learn to accept and be grateful for each day we live. Let's make plans for a bright future. Continue a new start after seeing your changes. Try to improve yourself and upgrade yourself to a better version. Let's clean up your soul, memory, and mood. Is smiles or tears that stay the most in your soul? What makes you the happiest or the most miserable? Throw away negative emotions and things in the trash. Don't regret the things you haven't had, the things you've lost, but be proud and grateful for the things you have, and have achieved. How hard you have worked to come to this day. Let's focus on a more energetic, positive 2023. Finally, spend more time with family, because home is always the place where we come back. No one knows how many more times in their life, 
there will be at the end of the year. Instead of grieving about the past, open your heart to receive new and more meaningful things. Smile to say goodbye to 2022, and welcome 2023 with beautiful hopes. Wishing everyone a peaceful, healthy, and happy new year. Let's toast to welcome the new year.